Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Um, I wanted to talk about the healing process and why it's selfish for folks to not properly heal. Um, and I'm talking about healing from childhood wounds, even like wounds from adulthood, you know what I'm saying? Because whether you're in a relationship with someone or not, if you don't properly heal yourself, you can bring that baggage uh, over into a relationship where it can affect the person that you're with. And even if you're not in a relationship, it will continue to affect you because you didn't properly heal whatever the issue is, right? For a lot of us, um, when we are children and if, you know, there were horrible things that happened to us in our childhood that traumatized us, many times what we do is we put those, those hurtful memories in a box, right? And we put a lock on it in our mental and we put it away. We forget about it, right? Um, and then we grow up and then somebody may say something or do something to trigger that box, you know what I mean? And then, the, and then it comes popping open and then we react to whatever that trigger was from our wound, right? Which was never properly healed. Um, and honestly, a lot of folks don't even know, you know, how to properly heal um, internal wounds, you know? Some folks, you know, go and get therapy and they speak to a therapist about their issues because sometimes it's good to speak to someone who doesn't know you so they don't, you know, have any biased opinions about you and they can give you their honest feedback. <laughs> Some issues I had with therapy, though, is just kind of like, you know, you have to kind of tell this person your entire life story and then they have to kind of pull bits and pieces from your story in order to put it together to make sense for you. You know what I'm saying? And and I always felt like that was just putting somebody else in your business, which I understand why, you know, therapy um, can be good, right? But nobody knows you better than you, right? Nobody knows your life story better than you. Nobody knows what happened to you better than you. And a lot of times all we have to do is reflect back to what happened to us when we were kids or even traumatizing things that may have happened to us as adults. All we have to do is reflect back to those events, to those moments, to those people, you know, to those places, what happened, why it happened, reflect on um, how it hurt you, um, how you would change it, or even if you can't change it because you can't change the past, right? If it was to make an appearance again, how you would handle it moving forward, right? In a, in a different way. Um, and that um, enters mental mastery, right? Um, I speak a lot about this on my pod, um, Everybody's Got a Story at anchor.fm. And um, I speak a lot about mental mastery. I speak a lot about unhealed childhood wounds and how it's important to heal these wounds. A lot of times we get in relationships with people and we have these wounds and we think that they are not there anymore because we grew up, right? We feel like everything that's in the past is in the past and it doesn't follow us into adulthood and that's bullshit. Our wounds, because they were never properly healed, they do follow us into adulthood and then we end up projecting that unhealed shit onto other people, right? Um, and a lot of us don't understand why we feel the way we feel, why we're triggered in the way we're triggered. And because mental mastery is something that hasn't been taught, especially not in school, we don't know how to, how to handle the emotions and the feelings that comes with the triggers, right? So, so if we don't properly heal these wounds, um, it, it keeps us in this kind of low vibe and state, right? And we seek others to make us feel good internally because we feel that uh, everything on the outside of us is what is going to give us validation and everything on the outside of us is what's going to make us feel better, right? Because we can't stand to be 
by ourselves alone. If we are, then we have to face ourselves, right? We have to look ourselves in the mirror, right? Um, but that's, that's why um, self-healing is so important because, you know, we have to heal ourselves. Nobody can fix us. Nobody can heal us but us. Because, like I said, nobody knows us better than we know ourselves. And if we refuse to do the work in healing ourselves, that is a selfish thing to do. Because then we're ultimately, you might as well say you're punishing your spouse. Because you're bringing your spouse down to a low vibe and level. And what if your spouse is growing? What if your spouse is ascending? Your spouse is evolving. And they're like, I don't want to go down there where you are. It hurts down there. But you're so comfortable down there where you are because you refuse to do the work to heal. So you stay where you are and you expect your spouse to stay with you.